you want to have something that you could sit there in a Fast and the Furious movie and go underneath so semi trailers. Uh, this would be the car to do it. This would be the car to do it. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to Death by Boost. For those of you that are new to our channel, my name is Cole. This is Craig. What's up, guys? So, what is better than modding your own car? Building your own car, right? But not just building your own car. Building your own car from scratch. If you have not seen the previous four videos on this, go check those out so you guys can get caught up to what we're doing. But we did not end off last video with an explanation of 100% what we went through, what we did. So Craig's gonna get you caught up on that. All right guys, let me show you what we did and what we're gonna do today. So in the last video, we got the upper and lower bars connecting the frame to the rear subframe of the car. We have the A-arms connected now, and we have the subframe connected down here. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie all this together, so it's gonna be 100% solid, and then we're gonna get the engine mounted to the frame. So let's get to it. <laughs> good, all right, so let's get to it. Finally just got through cutting all the bars and mocking up the rear end. Um, we have the basically tack welds done to the bottom subframe crossbars, cross from here to here and top to the control arms, and we have thing, everything tack welded. And the top is free right now, so we can actually slide it yep. left and right. So we have play to make our adjustments. And what we're doing is we're making all of our adjustments come off of the center casting here on the uh, rear diff or the trans, whichever we're going to go off of and we're gonna get a precise measurement from this side to over here and then have a mirror image on the other side, which will lend us to being able to do alignments a lot better and then actually get to take it down to our local, which is like less, less Schwab or whatever. Yep, to have them do a four wheel alignment on it and this will be nice and pretty. So, once this is all done, this, this what we just talked about, once it's all welded up, it is gonna be finally a solid rear end and it is gonna be amazing to come work on this car but we don't have to sit here and Craig, before I got here, spent about another 30 minutes making sure everything's leveled out. So yeah. the only thing we're missing for the rear end right now is to tie the uh, motor mounts into the rear end. Once that happens, we're gonna have a complete, a complete solid chassis from the front here back and then we just have to get into the front end, mock that up, re-level everything out, and then do our own. We have a couple of pretty cool ideas this is going to be ride height adjustable so whether that be airbags whether that be a hydraulic type setup we don't know yet um but we are going to be diving into that most likely on the next video if not the one after that so stay tuned oh, you can get those action shots Didn't want to come together. <laughs> cool. So it's all tacked. It is tacked and substantially better. I mean, I, the bolts and stuff aren't tight. On yeah, the there's wheels, nothing but... tight in here, so don't mind the wobbliness. That's just for mocking up purposes. But before this would move when you move the tires, so now it's yeah, solid. now it's solid. Yep. Hell yeah! Finally. Yep. So <laughs> it's tied in. Yep. So throw some weld down and on to the next. You're gonna do what? Throw some weld down. You, you throw it and it sticks? Yeah, it's like Spider-Man. Oh, you're gonna shoot your web out. But weld. Both welding. Molten metal. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing our minds. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got done welding up the entire back end. Uh, it's finally connected and married up to the subframe. Uh, we were able to do a couple light, nice little uh, tie down bars. And then I'm over here trying to figure out this motor mount, which uh, I need to walk away from for a second. I'm trying to be simple, yet unique looking and functional. So 
that's our next project so he's just cleaning up that and we're gonna head over here and get this motor mounted up so Craig just finished his arts and crafts project I cut inside the lines cut it no oh no color 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 cut outside the lines to keep the material oh, anyway <laughs> so we actually have the bottom hoop so these are for the motor mounts bottom hoop we're gonna weld these up they're already tacked up we've already headed on the motor everything's looking pretty decent Yep. I like the way that looks. Yeah, weld this guy up and then when you just need to make braces, go from here to the frame. Oh yeah, let's get to welding. Let's do it. Turn down the heat a little bit. Turn down some heat. All right, so Craig just finished up the motor mount. Well, uh, we ended up welding it all together. So she's nice and bent, looks good. And we're gonna hook this back up and then we're going to connect over here. We're gonna draw the uh, connection point from, there's the motor mount, that little red grommet. The scope, that bolts to that. And then this is gonna go from here to that. And we will complete our loop. So we just got done doing the motor mount. We did, ended up doing the double bend for the bottom hoop underneath the oil pan. It made, had great clearance, it gives a little bit of protection too. Um, and it's slightly above the base bar for the, where the floor pan's gonna be. Um, we're probably not done with bracing this yet. As you can see, we have just here, we need to actually get something that can support from the crossbar up to the mounts and start creating those nodes. Yeah. Right? Lots of bracing. Lots of bracing. So we. We weren't able to set the motor down on the actual engine mounts, motor mounts um, today, primarily because we don't have all of our nodes placed um, for the top uh, horizontal bar with the bottom brace bar. Yeah. Um, and that would put a lot of stress and we want to make the frame true. Yeah, yeah. how do that again? Because you don't make the frame bow right now. If you look at these lattice bars, it's just like a crane. And they're there for a reason. They're yeah. called nodes, right? So yeah. nodes being being all technical over here. Technicalities. <laughs> te technicals. Technicolies. Yeah. What do you want to call it? But yeah, so when you have that, you're you're incorporating strength and you're bonding the bottom and top bar together. Um, they don't want to pull apart, they don't want to push together. Um, they they hold true, just like Craig said, like a crane. Um, that's why <laughs> that's why it's like the, that's the traditional strongest shape besides a sphere yeah. when it comes to structural components is a triangle well we're using spherical material with triangular shapes it i'm glad we took our time because it looks yeah. sick a lot of this is going to be exposed right yep so we don't want to take and just do the basic kind of styling to any of this we don't want to just do the bare minimum to get the actual support structure done we want to add character to the framework that we're doing so that when we're done the framework is pretty. The framework has cool shapes and designs to it because it isn't going to be covered by a body like a normal car. Um, that's where you get, because you pull a body off of another race car or whatever, it's just a skeleton. It literally just looks like it was designed for structure, support, strength, and so on. Whereas ours, we're trying to incorporate all of that plus shape, character, um, trying to figure out neat ways to actually bend bar to make it look like it is a body, but it's just, but it's still a frame. Yep. Um, Cause that's what CT wants. He, he wanted a full tube setup. We're going to do that for the most part, but we want it to have character too. And he, he appreciated that. So he's totally fine with us going forward and doing what we're doing. Um, so I'm pumped. I, this is going to be really cool. It's making a lot of progress. We got a lot of headway um, today. We tied everything together in the last video yep. and now we're finally getting the motor to sit in here. So we're just about starting to do, I think this is all pretty stuff, but I, you, you look at it and you're going to start having the character come into play yep. when you have the window, so to speak. It's not going to be glass, but there's going to be a window opening. Yep. And then some of the other cool little trick things that we're going to be able to do, um, that's when it's really going to start tying in together and you can see the actual finished product. Oh yeah. So this is going to be sick. I would say we're somewhere in the midst of half, we're, we're about, I'd say, 
done in a sense. With the frame, yeah. Yeah, with the frame. And then we got a lot of detail work and stuff like that to do. But now we got the hard parts over. Like honestly, yeah. these were the hardest parts of the car. Now we can actually pay attention to detail. Yes. And man, this thing's just gonna look good. <laughs> this is gonna turn some turn some freaking heads, man. We were saying that today. Yeah. We were saying that today. When you take this to a car show and you roll up in a car show, and I'm not talking crap about exotics. Trust me, I'm not. I'm a fan of all cars. However, you see them all the time. Yep. You can sit there and type in Lamborghini Aventador or Huracan or Cyan or whatever you want to type in. You can pull up and see what it looks like. Yep. You don't know what this looks like until you see it. Yep. Um, well, obviously, you're still going to question everything until you look over the car for 10, 15, 30 an hour and you're still probably not going to know the whole car. Right, exactly. Because it's it's new. It isn't something that they've seen before. This isn't... It, it's a rat rod paid homage, but has a lot of cool trick new yeah. modern things into the car too. So, okay. so, so check this out real quick. When I have Craig sit down, I really want you guys to understand how low this is. <laughs> so, I mean, he's sitting on the concrete and I'm going to get it about head level there. Yeah. So there's the tire. I mean, you guys can see it for yourselves, right? Yeah. So, I mean... This is exactly what he wanted. It is gonna be so freaking low. We said it before. If you wanna have, if you wanna have something that you could sit there in a Fast and the Furious movie and go underneath so semi trailers. This would be the car to do it. This would be the car to do it. I don't I don't encourage anyone to do that, but this would be the car to do it. <laughs> so, I think when this is all said and done, we should go drive this to a uh a oh, there you go. And just see if we can and ask him if we can pull it underneath it. Yeah. Do a kind of a cool thumbnail. Yeah. Hey, told you we could do it, right? Yep. yep. Right? So sure there'll be a gap. There's gotta be, you know, I've, yeah, exactly. There's a decent gap for sure. All right, guys. So we really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching this. Uh, we have four other videos that we have up of the car. Um, please go check those out if you already have it. Comment, tell us what you think. So I'm excited for the next one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's every freaking Every time we work on this thing, it just gets better and better and better and better. So I can't wait till the next time we work on it because it's starting to fill in. It's starting to look it is. like what it's supposed to look like. Yes. What we see in our heads. Absolutely. And what's really cool too is, is you sit there and you can draw all day long or you can lay blue tape out all day long. But when the bar is actually being bent and is thrown up on the car, you start to go, oh, maybe we should do a little bit more of this. Yep. Maybe we should do it. Maybe we should sweep it in a little bit more. Maybe we should do that. And that's kind of why it's taking us a little bit more time. Uh, when we're doing this and it's not, maybe it might not seem like we're moving as fast, but everything's being purposeful, thought out, it's methodical. Um, it's and right. it's being done right. Yeah. So when we're done, like everything we've done, we've probably, even with the motor mounts, we went through two different designs, right? Yep. Two different designs, different sweeps, different bends to see if it would be A, structurally sound, B, if it was actually going to look, look good. good. Yeah. Because again, it's not being covered by a body. So if it looks kind of like uh, sad, droopy, doesn't look mean, doesn't look tough, that's what we, we redid it. So yeah. we went through a couple of different bars over there, as you can see on the, on the bench, a couple of different style bars. Um, so we're taking our time with this. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. We're gonna leave it off here. If you already have it, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna be doing a couple more of these. We have some pretty cool stuff coming up with the go-kart too. Um, we're gonna do kind of a how to, how to make drift tires, yeah. how to do something to where we can actually start sliding that thing around and truly drift it. We've, yeah. been, we've been trying really hard to drift the damn thing, but you, if you've seen the other videos, you know why it doesn't do quite some of the things that we were wanting it to do. Um, but we are gonna start turning that thing up a notch and start sliding it around, so. If you already haven't, go check those videos out. But thank you guys again. We can't wait to see you next time. Stay tuned.